Hey, Lauren Hughes here. I'm at the top of Vail Mountain right now, and let's chat HOAs right now. H well, I think on the flatlands, HOAs are really killing um, the Colorado vibe, and I can tell you, it's killing my ability to be able to buy investment properties in the mountains. And so when you're looking at either a, it's your primary residence, or if you're looking at the mountains as a vacation rental, or really anything that you're doing, HOAs matter, and how restricted they're going to be matters. And what I'm seeing a trend, it's just steadily increasing in Colorado over the past 20 years. Everything's an HOA, or it's going toward HOAs, where Colorado historically is a very anti-HOA state, or it's a, we just didn't used to have them. However, over the last 20 years, everything's in an HOA, and it's actually preventing me from buying a decent amount of property in the mountains right now, and it's just HOAs are really high, and my issue is not HOAs that have value. It's my H, it's HOAs that are $1,000 a month, we, we, and you're looking at a house that's between a half a million and 1.5 million. So we have a good range here, but I'm seeing HOAs that are approximately a thousand dollars a month, which is, I mean, it's up to 35% of your annual pay or your monthly payment or up to 15% of your monthly payment. And it's just, I don't see the value in them. And that's, that's my issue right now. Our HOAs are so, so shockingly expensive up here and I'm failing to see their value. Now, if you have hot tubs, you have pools, you have like a pool hall, you've got like an entertainment center, so it's great for tourists. That's one thing, but I'm seeing HOAs are just really high and I think a lot of it has to do with special assessments or preparing for a special assessment because the a lot of the houses in this area are from the 70s and so they're starting to have a lot more maintenance and so I think the HOAs are high because they're prepping for these special assessments which I just right now HOAs it's in order for me to go into an HOA it's got to be a new construction within at least 10 years like no or nothing older than 10 years and I usually only go pre-construction if I have an HOA and that's just because of you know your dollar value and I like to be grandfathered into a lot of things so if you guys ever have any questions HOAs are a definitely they, they are a fun financial consideration that we need to consider here so if you guys ever have any questions my door is always open